Hey guys, welcome to my Blu-ray collection. We're going to start right away with Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Spine, it is fine. Top, bottom, the back. Um, yeah, this is the Rich Mahogany edition of the movie. Came with this little book. I'll flip through this real quick. Okay. The Anchorman trading cards, I have not opened them yet. And of course, the Blu ray itself. This movie's rated PG 13 or unrated in this case, and it's 98 minutes. Here's disc. Here's disc one with the movie and disc two with the bonus features, which includes a third movie, that being Wake Up Ron Burgundy, and the first two being the unrated and theatrical cuts of the movie. Let me get this back in the box. But yeah, Anchorman is a really funny movie. If you haven't seen this one, I definitely recommend it, especially the unrated cut. It makes things a little bit funnier, except in some parts, which... Um, if you've seen the unrated cut, you probably know what I'm talking about. I also have Anchorman 2. Side, other side, the back. This is rated PG-13. There's also a supersized cut and a unrated cut, and there's the lengths. Here's the supersized disc, the theatrical and unrated cuts, and the DVD, which is just the theatrical cut. Yeah, this is a really good sequel. A lot of people didn't like it, but I thought it was funny. Next up is my only steel book, The Avengers. Here's the disc. This is rated PG-13, it's 143 minutes, and it's a Paramount Blu-ray in a Disney case. Digital code. Inside of the case. Yeah. I almost got the Age of Ultron steel book too, but I didn't end up picking it up when I went to Best Buy that one time. Here's the Back to the Future trilogy. I'm not going to pull out the discs because I don't want to get them damaged, but it's like a flip book, kind of. Um, yeah. Each page is something about the movies. And then in the back, you have the chronological timeline, digital codes, and for other stuff. In fact, the future is a fantastic trilogy, without a doubt. Alright. Next one is The Batman. I saw this in theaters when it first came out. This was a great movie. Rated PG-13, and it is 176 minutes long. And they're making Batman Part 2, which got delayed recently, but I'm fine with it. As long as the movie's good. Here's the Blu-ray. Um, the Blu-ray, the special features. The DVD, and digital code. I've already used all the codes in these videos, by the way. Batman is a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen this Batman, please do. This is a really good movie. It's B movie. Ready PG, and it is an hour and 30 minutes. There's this. Digital code and add for other movies on Blu-ray. Which I have Shrek on DVD, Kung Fu Panda on Blu-ray and DVD, and Madagascar on DVD. And I have High Train Dragon on DVD as well. Yeah. There's Big Hero 6. This is one of my favorite Disney movies. PG, it's 102 minutes long. Here's the Blu-ray. And the DVD. Disney Movie Club and Disney Movie Rewards. Disney Movie Club is shutting down in May, which is really sad, but I used to be a member, which is cool. Yeah. Next up, I got this Blu-ray DVD CD laser lens cleaner device, which is cool. Here's the disc. And it also has the cleaners themselves on the back of it. There's Cars. One of my favorite movies. Ready G, it's 160 minutes. There's the disc. Which, this Blu-ray disc was actually packaged in the Blu-ray 3D release of this movie. I guess it was just because it's the latest reprint that they had. There's Cars 3. I don't have Cars 2 on Blu-ray, but I have it on DVD. Ready G, and it's 103 minutes. I do hope to get the Blu-ray dig DVD digital pack soon for that movie. Here's the Blu-rays. Underneath here's the DVD. I love how Pixar keeps artwork on the Blu-rays and the DVDs. It's such a nice touch. Because Disney stopped doing that a long time ago. It's Coco. There's the Blu-ray of the movie. The Blu-ray, the bonus features, 
This is a DVD. And digital coverage, for some reason, was already used, even though this DVD, or this Blu-ray, was brand new sealed, which was weird. I tried to contact Disney about it, and they just wouldn't let me get a new one, even though I ordered this online. Which is weird. Here's Daddy's Home 2. I saw this in theaters when it first came out. This was a funny movie, even though the first is still way better. PG-13, and it is 99 minutes long. Here's the Blu-ray, the DVD digital codes both are expired even though i've already used them but yeah <clears throat> here's despicable me 3 i saw this one in theaters as well this one was just okay despicable me 4 is coming out on july 3rd and that looks really good and at least promising Read to pg and it is an hour and 30 minutes blu-ray DVD, digital stuff, after other movies on Blu-ray. I have Despicable Me 1 and 2 on DVD. I'm trying to find a copy of Minions. I have Secret Life of Pets, and I have The Lorax. Um, and Sing, I also need to get a copy of. Those are all good movies. Sure. Next up is The Emperor's Bundle. It comes with Emperor's New Groove and Kronk's New Groove. Rated G, and it is... First one's 78 minutes, second one's 75 minutes. This is the insider's code. These are already used, of course. Here's the DVD for The Emperor's New Groove, the DVD for Kronk's New Groove, and the Blu-ray for The Emperor's New Groove and Kronk's New Groove bundle. Yeah. Here's Ferdinand. I saw this in theaters as well. This was pretty good. Blu-ray, DVD, digital code. You get the point. And then this one was rated PG, and it is 108 minutes. I have Finding Nemo. Rated G, and it's 100 minutes. Blu-ray of the movie. Blu-ray of the bonus features. The DVD. Disney Movie Rewards. And more to see inside. It's like one of those old ad booklet things. And for Up on 3D, Frank and Winnie, Monster Inc., Peter Pan, Mulan, Blaine's. Flubber, um, Finding Nemo, 3DS game, a couple other things. Yeah, Finding Nemo is a classic. I, I don't even think I need to explain myself on how good of a movie this is. I also have Finding Dory, which was just mediocre in my opinion. It is still pretty good in some cases. Rated PG, it's 97 minutes long. Uh, here's the Blu-ray of the movie, Blu-ray of the bonus features, uh, this digital code thing. Again, I've already used the code. And I forgot to show the DVD. It's down here. They all look kind of a little too identical, even though they are far different from each other in certain cases. Get this back in the box. Come on, get it. Okay. It's Frosty the Snowman. This is 30 minutes long, or 48 minutes, and it comes with Frosty Returns. Blu-ray, DVD. They both look the exact same. And I'll show one more and then we're going to stop. The Nightmare Before Christmas Hocus Pocus double feature Blu-ray set. This is one of my Disney movie club Blu-rays. I have three. Here's Hocus Pocus. Blu-ray, DVD, digital code. And Nightmare Before Christmas single edition box. Blu-ray, DVD, digital code. You know the drink. And that's it for part one of my Blu-ray collection. I'll see you in part two.